Hey there, this is Noga Hellman, creator of Upside Down Parenting, where your parenting challenges meet personal growth. And on today's takeaway episode, we'll be tackling one of our biggest time and energy suckers, our difficulty to say no to friends, acquaintances, community members, and colleagues. Even if we haven't been especially known as givers in the past, years of constant giving to our children and spouses have trained us to be sensitive to other people's needs, and it truly makes it difficult to say no to the innocent requests of other people. Now, this is a challenge that people of all walks of life occasionally deal with. It's certainly not unique for mothers. Most people want to be nice, and add, that, add to that the fear of disappointing others and being rejected by them as a result, and what you get is a lot of dishonesty around people's yeses and a display of weakness a lot of the time. But the impact that a mother's commitments to others has is not only on her own day and her own well-being, but also, sooner or later, on her children. I bet you've been in those situations when you know your kids' needs and requests deserve a yes, and you're well aware that you're physically and emotionally depleted, and still you give in to the pressure and join the school committee. And the result, after giving your best to other people or organizations and their agendas, is that we end up hollering our no at our kids. Yeah? Mm-hmm, yeah? Okay, so let me recap, okay? so. When I pick him up, he might w- run away, but you're saying he doesn't run to the street just to wait patiently, maybe for like 10 minutes until he starts walking willingly. Okay, yeah. All right, so when we get home to serve him lunch, hmm, if he doesn't want what I serve, then to get for him pizza. Okay, no problem, I love helping friends. Yeah, have a great day, bye. Baron Katie, author of I Need Your Love, Is That True?, provides us with the rule of thumb for knowing when to say yes or when to say no. A dishonest yes to someone else is a no to yourself. So for example, if I listen to all the details of your mother-in-law's visit and how much you suffered through it for over an hour on the phone, at the same time I say no to my kids who are all excited to tell me about their day at school and I also said no to myself because later my kids were already busy with other things and I didn't get to talk with them. Here's the thing, we might never become skilled at knowing if it's a yes or a no on the spot, but there's always, always a second and third chance and what we do when we realize that we should have said no, whether it's seconds or two weeks later, that's what counts in the end. One way of correcting course and backwards building of your inner resilience is to say, when we spoke the other day, I really wanted to say yes, and I realize now that I can't do what I committed to do at this time. I'm sorry if this disappoints you. Another way of being true to yourself is fine-tuning your original commitment. In the example above, you might tell your friend, your friend that you would love to lend your ear and please to be in touch later in the evening. Or, if you've agreed, maybe even volunteered to walk the neighbor's kids home from school three times a week and it's taking up more time and energy than you originally thought it would, saying yes to yourself might be simply to go from three times to twice a week. Let's conclude with two helpful tips. Honest yes tip number one. Don't compare the number of times that you say yes to the number of times the mother next door says. Maybe she would love to learn how to say no more often and different mothers are blessed with different levels of energy. Honest yes tip number two. Remind yourself that the universe doesn't revolve around you. I have to tell myself all the time to be humble. If I pass doing a favor this time around, someone else will seize the opportunity to do a charitable act. The well-being of my home, on the other hand, does heavily depend on my presence and personal attention. Give yourself a second chance. Build your confidence backwards and prepare yourself for the next time you're asked to spend time or energy on someone else's agenda by reneging on a misplaced yes. As always, you can share it with me at noga at upsidedownparenting.com. Send this link of this video to a friend and subscribe to our outside-the-box parenting content at UpsideDownParenting.com. It's fabulous, eye-opening, and free. Until next time, get curious about the parenting challenges that come your way because they are your custom-made opportunities to check in with your deepest parenting values and become the best possible you.